YouTube. What's going on, man? It's Cole here. Stay back in the video, man. Stay. I'm gonna give you guys my most worn and like my favorite pieces in my closet and all that, man. So let's go ahead and get straight into the video, my boy. Alright, man. So I'm not doing this in any particular order, but I'm gonna start off with what I probably do wear the most, and after that, just some of my favorite pieces, man. So first up in my black Air Force Ones, man. I wear these like almost every other day probably i'm not gonna lie to you man ever since i got them i was like yeah these are like probably my favorite shoes in my collection which kind of crazy because just the air force one but you know air force one's time lifting never go out of style in my opinion so yeah man we got the black air force ones i did a lace swap with them and i put some cream laces inside of them in my opinion it just makes the shoe a bit better man i'm not gonna lie to you like once i switch the laces from black to this cream color yeah actually it's a cream color it's not white am i crazy i promise <laughs> But uh, yeah, once I switched the laces to this cream color, I just never went back to the black laces. Like it just gives it, it just gives the shoe something else, man. Just like, it's a bit different, you feel me? So yeah, I put the cream laces in the black Air Force Ones and it just, yeah. Now I wear these ones like so much, man. Like as you can see, they are kind of getting beat a little bit, man. I might go pick up another pair, you know what I'm saying? Actually not, if I get another pair of black forces, I'm gonna get the cactus plant flea market ones but on john's like six hundred dollars so he's gonna have to do it for now man and i don't know these are just a bit different too because it's got the cream laces in them like i really had people ask me where i got this from what shoes are these i'm like bro these are just black forces with some cream laces in them it's not that deep man so yeah man black forces these are better than white forces i don't care go argue with the brick wall man like these these go i right, man. so next up Next piece is this ape sweater I got, man. Ape by Bait, man. I got this from Grail like this summer, honestly. Yeah, probably the summer. I kind of lowballed him a little bit. I ended up paying like 80 for this, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, this is a super, super clean sweater, man. It's black, it says Ape Now by Bathing Ape. Or just there, I mean, uh, yeah. This is Ape Now, exclamation point, by Bathing Ape under it. It's got the neckline and it's got the ape tag and everything on it too, man. And I like this too. Like I like when stuff has like the branding on the back, like over here. That's honestly really clean to me. I'll give just a small little branding on the back. It's kind of clean. I ain't gonna lie to you. But um, yeah, man. You know how ape is. It's got all the tags and stuff. Ape be going a little crazy with it. It's got the embroidery on it. It's got the it's got the tags on it. And on the other side, it says Ape Universe. And it's got it's got like a little small ape. I'm not sure if you can see it, but yeah. I, I love this sweater. This is such a clean sweater. I'm happy I got it. You know what I'm saying? Everyone likes babe, I feel like. So, can't go wrong with nice little babe piece every now and then, you feel me? So, yeah, man, this is definitely one of my favorite things in my closet. And one of my most worn things too, I feel like. All right, man, next up is something that I honestly wear all the time, and that's my Onyx Easy Slides, man. These, I, I wear these so, so much, man. It's these in my Black Forces. These probably, you probably gonna see me out on these in my Black Forces. So, show skis. So, yeah, man. Honest these guys. I got the honest one because these, I don't know, man. I feel like you can wear these more with the pure ones. But the pure's are really clean, man. I honestly was thinking about getting another pair of Easy Slides. Uh, I was thinking about getting a pair of pure Easy Slides too, along with the honest ones. But I haven't done it yet. Just sticking with the honest for now, man. But yeah, I wear these with everything jeans, cargo, shorts, whatever. I'm throwing these on with anything if I feel like it, man. Like, just super comfortable. It's just like a chill type fit, man. I'm throwing these, a pair of gray cargos, and a hoodie. And yeah, man, I'm gonna be comfortable in that, man. I don't lie to you. So yeah, I honestly do love these shoes. At the time, I feel like I might have overpaid for them because I feel like they're a bit cheaper now, but it is what it is, man. I got them still and I love them and I wear them all the time. So I feel like I got my money's worth with them anyways. My honesty is like, it's definitely one of my favorite things in my collection. All right, man, so next up is another t-shirt. Oh, not another. Next up is a, is a t-shirt, and this is my sneaker social t-shirt from Asus. It's a really, really, like, big shirt, man. I don't know. I went in size down, and it still, like, fits, like, a size up or two. Like, when I put this joint on, like, it be covering, like, my elbows, and I went size down. So, it's kind of, it's kind of huge, I ain't gonna lie. So, yeah, but it's just a black graphic t-shirt. It says sneaker socials on the on the top left left yeah on the top left of the chest and it's got this huge graphic on the back which is really clean it's like a globe on it and it's just like a little sneaker thing you know what i'm saying it's like buy and sell sneakers globally 
uh, let's see, here's Pine Street, Corn Park, Tower Hammets, London, Day Ones. Uh, this is probably some European thing, I'm not gonna lie, because Asus is a European brand. So, yeah, this is just a really dope t shirt, man. I'm not gonna lie. It's really, really big, so I'll be wearing this a lot of oversized stuff. And yeah, it just go. I ain't gonna lie, man. Like, I love this t shirt a lot. It was like $30 from Asus. Really, really dope graphic t shirt, man. And so, next up is something that I usually get like compliments and like I people ask me where I got these from all the time man and it is the star denim from minimal LA I actually don't think they're even on site anymore which is that's kind of tough if you wanted them but yeah man I'm happy I got them when I did I still got them on sale too which is kind of cool so yeah it's got this just giant star patterns going all the way across the, across the pant man and it's like a straight fit too so yeah these are see these are actually really, really clean pair of pants, man. It's got some light distressing, I think. Unless I did that. I don't think I did that, but yeah. Um, super, super clean pair of pants, man. It's got some distressing on the back too, like right here. I don't think I did that. <laughs> Unless I got cut or something. But yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think these are on the site anymore. So if you wanted them, that's kind of tough. And next up, this might be a little bit biased, but it is my Stuck in Reverie hoodie, man. My black one, especially my black one, because I just wear a lot of black colors and stuff like that. So yeah, this might be a little bit biased because that's my brand and everything, but I don't care. This hoodie is super, super tough, man. I like it. It's not like a super thick hoodie either, so you can wear, so you can wear it more times than not, because like it's kind of a thinner hoodie, man, and. It just goes everything is black and white. You can never go on with a nice black and white hoodie. Like I'm literally wearing one right now, man. Definitely another one of my more worn pieces in my closet, man. So yeah, stuck in every hoodie, man. Let's go ahead and move on to the next piece. Right, man, so next up we do indeed got my smoke gray Jordan 1 highs, man. I got black laces in the right shoe and the left shoe. I don't have it on me right now, but I have white laces in those, man. And these are criminally underrated Jordan 1, man, I'm telling you. These are definitely one of the better pairs of Jordan 1s, especially that have released recently. Like the quality on them is a lot better than other Jordan 1s too. This is up there with like the bread one quality. I ain't gonna lie to see. Like the, butter, the leather is like buttery leather, like it's nice leather on them too. So yeah, man, the small gray one highs, you gotta get the highs, the lows. I mean, the mids just don't hit the same because it don't got the, the red tabbing on it on the too. So yeah, man, of course, the one highs are gonna be better than the mids anyway, so. But especially with these two, because they only got the right coloring scheme on this. So but I wear it all the time. Like you gonna see me in these two. I'm not gonna lie. These my forces, my onyx these slides. And let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. All right, man. So this is, honestly might be my favorite thing in the closet. But it's not. It's definitely top three. And I got my wax skinny jeans, man. I wear these. Oh my goodness, I wear these all the time, bro. Like if you know me. I'm wearing these multiple times a week. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I wear a lot of black jeans, but like these, these definitely my favorite ones. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I don't know, something about them is just, it's clean. I, it's like a lot of times when you wash black jeans too, they gonna get faded. These don't have that problem, which is really clean, and which is really cool. So yeah, they got zippers bottom too. I don't know, man. I kind of wish they were just straight with no zippers because I never have them unzipped for real, but yeah, man, these wax denim, like, these, these are so tough, man. Like, you need to go get you a pair. I'm not gonna lie to you. In the future, I'm most likely gonna get a pair, a pair of Subi wax denim. You know, no zipper or anything like that. Because Subi are really tough. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I like that tag. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, man, these these might be my favorite thing in the collection, in my closet. If not, it's definitely top three favorite things in my closet. So, yeah, man, without the way, got my wax jeans. I got these for minimal, by the way. A lot of my jeans for minimal because, like, they got a bunch of stuff and, like, you can't get wrong with minimal, you feel me? So yeah, black wax denim. I don't, I ain't never seen any other color wax denim, but yeah, black wax denim from minimal, man. Let's go ahead and move on to the next piece. All right, so next up, we got my hoodie from Morningstar Studios, man. This blue hoodie. This is actually my only blue hoodie in my collection. Just, I don't know how, I got like every, I got a lot of colors. I don't have a blue hoodie though, or I don't have yellow either. I need to get a yellow hoodie too, I guess. And maybe green, but I don't wear green, but yeah. Back to the city though, this blue hoodie, man. I did crop it and I did crop the sleeves also. I think I said that in my last video. I'm not sure if I had this cropped in my last video too. But yeah, man, it is cropped. And this hoodie is a super thick hoodie. That's really high quality. Like it's getting hotter, so I'm mad because I'm not gonna be able to wear it anymore. But yeah, man, this is a super, super dope hoodie, man. It's a Morningstar. 
on the front and the back it's got the skull cross moon and the stars on it too and i was able to get sent this like i was looking for one which is super dope man so i appreciate you for real man and yeah definitely one of my favorite things in my collection it's a super super tough hoodie and yeah let's go ahead and move on to the next thing all right man so next up is my feathers man i i only got the blue one i'm in right now but i got a black one too and i think i got a green one somewhere I don't know where that been. I ain't seen that in a minute. But yeah, man, fit is, I'll be wearing for this a lot too. I ain't gonna lie to you. I just throw it on with any outfit, you know what I'm saying? I just feel another accessory, cause why not, you feel me? And yeah, man, this is New York Nike, New York Yankees. I'm pretty sure that's New York Yankees. I don't know baseball teams at all. I don't even watch baseball. I've been to a Rangers game before. That job was so boring, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but I'll be wearing the hats though, I ain't gonna lie. The hats are clean, the hats are clean. So. Yeah, I got this blue Yankees fitted. Let's go ahead and move on to the next piece, man. Next up is my Mason Mihar Yasu Heroes, man. I've already mentioned these in a bunch of video, past videos, so I ain't gonna say too much on them. Y'all know, y'all know what it is, man. Mason Mihar Yasu Hero, OG Peterson. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Name kind of a mouthful, we say the full name. I just keep calling them Haras. But yeah, just got the white ones, oversized laces, everything like that, man. I could go too much into detail about it. Alright man, so if you enjoyed the video, make sure you do please leave a like. And if you are new here, make sure you go ahead and hit that red button and subscribe, man. I'm trying to hit 500 followers. followers. I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers too, man. I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers pretty soon, man. And hey, man, you hitting that red button would be greatly appreciated by me, man. Hey, like I said, I am trying to upload every day of spring break, man. This is upload two. Um, this is probably gonna be a late upload, I ain't gonna lie, like mad late. It might be past the second day. But hey man, I'm still going I'm still gonna get it done and I'm still gonna get the next video out. And I'm still gonna get that next video out too, man. So make sure you are subscribed for that man, because I'm uploading videos every single day of spring break. So yeah man, with that being said, I'll go ahead and end out the video and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.